So here I'm starting off with making a little bow tie. So I've got a 50-50 mix of modeling paste and some fondant, which I've also mixed in a little bit of tylose powder because I really want this to set. Um, I puff up either side with some kitchen roll, just to help it hold its shape while it's drying. I'll leave that off to dry. And then I'm just going in on that bottom part of the cake, smoothing that all out with some fondant. And then I go on to the front of what's going to be like the shirt and I add a thin piece of fondant with a little bit of edible glue and then stitch down both sides of that. And then I make some little black buttons, again with that little mix that I made earlier. And I put them onto the front part of that thin white strip. Then I'm now cutting out another piece of black fondant and this time I cut that into two thinner pieces which are going to sit either side of that stitched piece that I did, making sure that they are stuck down with a bit of edible glue and then cut to size. So now the same width of them two black strips that I did, I take a smaller piece and I fold that around a rolled out thin piece of the black fondant and I puff that up with a little bit of um, clean film just to again help it hold its shape while it dries. Then I cut out a super long piece of that black fondant and I'm going to stick that around the bottom of the cake. And again, just cutting that to size. So now that bow is a little bit more firm, I actually stick this on with a little bit of raw icing um, just so we know it's stuck properly. And then removing the cling film from these uh, little buckly bits, I stick them on with a little bit of edible glue making sure they're still kind of got that little bit of shape and they're a little bit puffy just adds a nice little bit of depth to the cake and then I take a little bit of a kind of bronzy gold um, luster paint that I've mixed with some lemon extract and then I'm just making the handle for what's going to be the beer part of our cake and then just Layering up some cake, lots of buttercream. And then smoothing that all out. So here taking a rolled out white piece of fondant, I flatten one side of that to wrap around the bottom of what will be the beer glass. This just gives it a little bit more shape. Then I roll out some fondant. I do leave this probably a little bit thicker than usual, but you'll see why in a second. So I cut that to size. And then I just wrap that around the cake, trying to get them edges to meet nicely. Making um, a small cut just to make sure they meet as neat as possible. And on the top where it's a little bit longer, cutting that down. Then I add a bit of foil around the top of what will be the beer glass. And now going in with a rolling pin, this is why I left the fondant a bit thicker because I need to push in some indentations for what will be the glass pattern. So now I'm going in with my airbrush and I used a yellow and a brown mixed together. I think there was a problem with the brown because it kept spitting through the airbrush. I had to make a change. I think I changed it for a bit of red. All worked out well in the end. So then I moved on and I rolled out loads and loads of little white balls out of fondant, various sizes, and just start stacking them around the top of the beer glass. So now that beer handle's dried out a little, I'm going in with some silver lustre dust and just painting that onto that handle. And I do the same around the bottom of the glass because it gives it a nice little sheen. Now moving on to rolling out a nice thin piece of fondant and I lay that over them little white balls that I added earlier and just begin to cut neatly around the shape of that. And then I'm just going with a nice soft brush and kind of pushing the bits of fondant around them balls. And now I'm just adding that handle using a little bit of edible glue. And there we go. One finished fun beer cake. Thank you for watching lovely people and I will catch you all again soon.